Hi everyone, my name is Kushi Sabla. I am a student of IIT Indore, and in this video, I am going to be talking about what were my reasons and how did I take the decision of dropping out of IPM IIM Indore and going for IIT. But before we begin with the actual points. I think it is very important to say it out loud and understand the fact that this is not a IIT versus IIM video because IIT and IIM both are highly prestigious institutions the curriculum the education that you get there the kind of environment the personality development that happens is incredible at both the institutions what we are actually talking about is pursuing a btech degree versus pursuing a ba degree and a mba degree then so we are going to be talking about that and not whether uh, whether going to an iit is good or going to an iim is good so the first point which i think is the most important point and is usually the deciding factor which is your own interest now what i mean by this is that Luckily if I have to talk about my journey luckily I got the chance to be in IPM for 2 to 3 weeks before I had to make the decision and there I realized that studying psychology or sociology was not really my thing although the curriculum there is amazing a lot of people love it but I could not relate to those subjects I could not relate to doing a BA degree for my bachelors and that is how i know that probably ipm is not something which i want to go for because at the end it's about studying it's about taking knowledge and i did not feel like pursuing those subjects whereas a btech degree has typical technical subjects where you know there's the curriculum goes in another way but there are again people who like the diversified uh, studies at ipm they like reading and uh, studying all those kind of subjects so the first important thing to understand is what exactly is your liking do you want to study these subjects do you want to study uh, economics or sociology philosophy they even teach you performing arts like dance drama do you want to uh, go in for all of that or do you want to pursue the typical technical subjects like electrical computers whatever the second point that you can consider are placements now let's be honest placements are very important and we all seek for them at some point of time so when i was taking my decision i spoke to a lot of seniors from iim themselves i contacted ipm seniors as well what i basically got to know was that because ipm is a new concept a few companies do not allow ipmers to sit for their placements this was something which was mentioned by the ipm chairperson also this gap definitely is slowly slowly reducing with the subsequent years of ipm but right now it does exist and also i got to know from a few seniors that there is a slight difference between the average package for a pgp student and an average package for an ipm student and continuing from the second point comes the third point that you can consider is if not ipm then what is your second option for example for me if not ipm i am indore it was going to be either iit indore electrical or bitspilani msc economics so i knew that both of these colleges are also very good and uh, they're going to be similar in terms of placement or overall development you can also consider what your second option is and if you feel that it does not hold that much value then probably you can go for ipm i know a few people who have also dropped out of ipm i am indore for srcc or for hansraj because these are also very good institutions the fourth point that you can think about are the opportunities that you're going to get at this age all of us have a rough plan in mind but we're not so sure as to what we're going to do in the future there are a lot of engineers who end up doing upsc there are a lot of people who want to have their own startups but then they end up doing a 9 to 5 job so we're all very fickle at this age and we are sort of figuring out what we want so in my opinion taking up a degree like ipm at this stage would somehow cut down your options because you're pursuing your bachelor's and master's from the same place in the same environment so you're not getting enough exposure to explore more things 
or if you do not want to pursue mba from your iim then you will have to go and give cat which is again going to be a tough job because you will have to compete with people who have done btech they have job experiences etc etc but then there is another perspective to this as well where people think that they have achieved some sort of stability in life they have their future in their hands and they know that you know their career path is somehow set because they know that they will end up with an mba from a good iim mean, and they will end up with something good so there are two perspectives to this situation i resonated more with the first one and that's why i decided to drop out and the fifth point is your future goal if you are clear that you probably want to do some business or you want to do something of your own or you want to be a manager then probably going for ipm could be the best option for you but if you just if you're just figuring it out and you want to explore to know yourself like for me i always had management in my mind but i did not know that how do i want to get there or what do i actually want to pursue in that field so if you're someone like that and if you're still figuring it out then probably going for another degree like a btech or a bcom or a bachelor of economics would give you the time to understand what you really want in life there are a few people who have their goals set since their childhood but then there are a lot of people who figure it out on their way so to conclude it i would just like to say that before making such a big choice you should know and you should understand and think as to what you want at times we end up hearing our parents at times we end up making our conclusions from the experiences of our peers or our seniors but at the end it is very important to speak to someone who has a neutral opinion and who can actually tell you what the situation is because of course this decision is going to shape your career so you should be aware about the option that you're making and what are the pros and cons of taking that option so if you feel that you were able to gain something from the video and i have helped you in some manner please like share and comment on this video if you have any further doubts please drop them in the comment section below and we'll be very happy to help you also all the very best for your journey ahead and please don't forget to check our website asipm.com and our youtube channel for more such videos related to ipm thank you so much so now how can we get you started go to asipm.com over here you will see the free counseling button click on that enter your details and a future senior of yours from iim is going to give you a call and you can get all your doubts clarified from them